Okay, video dose. Or E. E2. Uh, each eye is second. Um, anyway, lychees are weird. I don't know why. All of a sudden now they're like really popular. I don't know what it is, but I don't like them. I, we had them at, uh, we had this giant banquet for our school's seventh birthday. And they, like, Doug and I were like, we have to try this because it looked like this giant furry thing. And, uh, it was a lot of work to get into, and then it didn't taste very good. So I'm sure a martini is, with a lychee is good, but lychee by itself wasn't good. And also, I bought, Minute Maid is making apple lychee juice. I don't know, but we had that with soju the other day. And I have to bring soju back for you. Soju is so much better than uh, sake. Soju is exactly like sake, except for it has a better taste. It's not as strong, if you can imagine that. It's so good for mixing things with. Is she crying? Where are you? Oh, you're right there. Um, here, this is the dog. She's in her house. I don't know if you've seen her yet. We have the litter box from, like, the cats we had. So we put her bed in the litter box, so she has like a little house, and she sleeps in there. Ugh. She sleeps in there unless she's locked in the in the bathroom. So this is her. Look how cute she is. I'll take her out so you can see her. But, uh, and we've bathed her. We gave her a bath yesterday. Come here, come. On. We gave her a bath yesterday and today, I mean, yesterday and a week ago, because she gets so smelly. Because her breath is bad. And then she licks herself, and then, she's, then she smells bad. Like, say hi. Hi, Laura. And she's just really mellow. Like, you can do anything to her. Like, we just dance for, like, an hour. I can just do this to her, and she'd be fine. And she has an odd number of nipples. She has nine nipples. Isn't that weird? Um, let's see. So... Your birthday sounds like it was fun. Uh, I really miss Melinda and Brendan. I haven't seen Brendan in a really long time. I have no idea, like, how he's up to, up to. And I don't know how Melinda's up to. I haven't heard from her in, like, two months. I have no idea what she's doing. Um, oh, it's very sweet that your work got you flowers and an ice cream cake. I don't think we did anything. We didn't do anything special on my birthday at work. But whatever. We get like a birthday party. We have to actually go Tuesday morning. Every month we have a work meeting that's in Korean that we don't understand. But we get free lunch and then we celebrate everyone's birthday that's that month. So I got like 30 bucks and a piece of cake and a free lunch. Um, did Jay get you anything for your birthday? You didn't mention. I want you to know. And uh, your mom's cooking sounded delicious. You can't get most of that stuff in South Korea. And I knew you were going to have scalloped potatoes. That's like your favorite thing, right? Your mom always makes that for you. Let's see. It finally got warm here, as I mentioned. So it's really nice to walk. It's not going to get cold again while we're here. It's only going to be warm. So that's exciting. I like the warm weather. I actually had to take... This is my new sweater. It's a cardigan. And it was $5. And it's awesome. I had to take it off when we went walking today because it's so hot. Mmm... I agree with you that dance classes, when kids are absent, it's so annoying because you're trying to choreograph and like you can't go, not choreograph, but even like teach them the dance. You can't because like every week someone's absent and then you have to reteach what you taught last week. So like to get all of it together is so frustrating. So I'm sorry. I know exactly how you feel. Let's see. I wrote down all the stuff about your residency. That's awesome. Free performance space and rehearsal space. That must save you so much money. You just have to get into the city. That's awesome. Um, the showcase sounds cool. I'm sad I'm going to miss all your stuff. I don't know when your so showcase is, but it sounds like really good exposure. It's a, a lot. 200 people is a lot. It's bigger than my wedding. Uh, can you imagine? It's an event bigger than my wedding. I know it's shocking. Uh, I'm going to miss your May 21st fundraiser. Or, oh, wait. May 21st is the showcase, I think. And the July is the fundraiser, so I won't be there for either of those. So if there's any way you can videotape stuff, that would be appreciated. Um, and I'm interested to see how the themed choreography turns out. That's interesting. And I'm very sorry for you that you can't have Melinda in your piece that you did. I don't remember the name of it, so I'm sorry. Get out of there. Stop looking at yourself. Uh, when is the Boulder Fringe Festival? When is the Philly? When is your Philly show? And I'll definitely be at the October show.
that will be right when I get back. Because I'll talk about that later. They'll definitely be able to come. Because it's awesome. Uh, time check. Doug and I are great. <laughs> Doug and I like to talk about how great we are, actually. Often. We're just amazing. He can't talk right now because he's concentrating on his video game. It's very important stuff. Um, we're definitely getting stronger. It's really funny, like, the stuff you learn about each other when you live together. We just celebrated our one-year engagement anniversary, and we've now been living together for a year. So, we know each other pretty well. Right, honey? He's not listening. I'm very upsetting. It's okay. Doug loves me. He's very rarely playing video games. We actually have a free evening, so I'm gonna cook. I have to go out and get bread and a potato. We're gonna have soup. So I'm gonna cook for him, and he could just sit there playing video games. Uh, North Korea was really sad. I never want to go back there. There's other trips you can take up to North Korea. You can see um, Pyongyang, which is the capital, and there's another town you can go to and see like North Korean people, but. It's really, it's kind of scary to be there. Everything is really strictly regulated. Where, like, where you can be at certain times, you always have to have your passport, and, like, your, your ID is, like, this big. You always have to have it on. And, uh, like, no, no pictures. Like, there's whistling guards. It's really scary and, like, very upsetting to be in a country like that where you know the people are not free. You don't have, ex like, just so many freedoms you take for granted, just like free speech or, you know, you know, visiting family, like your freedom to come and go is something I think we really take for granted. And these people can't even leave their country to visit their families. So it's, it was really upsetting. And we went to the DMZ two weeks ago. So we saw a tunnel that the North dug into the South to try to invade. So far they found like four of these tunnels and uh, we saw the the buildings where the North Korean and South Korean uh, government officials come to meet. It's like right in the middle of the DMZ. Um, so that was really interesting. And the soldiers there are really scary. There are all these like special soldiers from South Korea that are all like black belts and like super scary and they all wear sunglasses. It's creepy. Um, but I'm really happy you're reading the journal. I didn't know that you read it like all the time. It's cool. We don't know who reads the journal unless they leave a comment. So you never know who's looking at it. And people were very upset about us telling everyone we got married. But it's April Fool's Day. The kids call it Lie Day. Gojit Mal means lie, so they call it Gojit Mal Day. Hmm. Okay. Um, doggy. We wanted to rename her Patty, but she knows her name, so it's hard. But she's really cute. She loves to snuggle under the covers. But Doug almost killed her last night because she was sleeping so soundly and so was he that he rolled over on top of her and crushed her. So I have to be very careful. But she's just like very relaxed. The most relaxed dog. And she loves me. So it's cute. Okay. Calling the kids on the phone. I don't mind calling the kids because they're really cute to talk to on the phone. And... The kids all have the same cadence when they're speaking. Like, their speech patterns are all the same, and it's really adorable. And they're cute on the phone, and you get to learn about them. But it's so not worth it for all the extra time it takes to do. They don't get anything out of it. You call them for three minutes every other week. So every month, they get six minutes on the phone. It's not benefiting them. It's not a skill they need. It's so annoying. And we don't get paid extra, and it takes away, like, all of my break time. Um, I don't know, like, there's so many things I love about Korea, but there's so many things that are stupid and don't make sense. Like, every time they try to implement something new, they don't ask the teachers, they just, they just promise the parents, and then there's, like, all these problems. Um, we're supposed to have a four-day weekend, not in May, and now they're like, well, we're going to take that away and make it a three-day weekend, and then give you that Thursday off because there's, like, a corporate event. But Doug and I are already booked to China, so we're like, we cannot be there on Tuesday to teach. And, like, they don't have subs. And, like, a bunch of other teachers book vacations. And, like, how did you not think that, like, you gave us a four-day vacation, people are not going to be, like, traveling and have plans? Like, I can't believe the, the audacity of them to just be like, no, we're taking that away. So I told the Korean teachers are in, a, like, a precarious situation because their jobs are so replaceable. But uh, we told them, like, if you need to fight, we were not coming in that day. Like, we were promised that day off. Okay, I have to start a new video. Sorry, come on.